Crying over, fuck me over, left me dying for your love. Crying over, crying over, now you're all I'm thinking of. Crying over, fuck me over, left me dying for your love. Crying over, crying over, now you're all I'm thinking of. Hey, what's up guys, it's Crying Nova, and I am very pleased to announce that registrations for the Earthly Escapade Tournament are finally closed. That's right. I filled up every single slot. I might expand next time if there's more interest, but right now, it's just 16, and all 16 slots are full. So, in this video, I'm going to be introducing to you all the combatants and their teams. And let's start with number one, who is surprisingly not myself, because I decided I wanted to join, like, a little later on. So, instead, allow me to introduce you to Lad. Yeah. His name's just Lad. Okay, so Lad um, wants to swap when his dinosaur's health is in the red. Like, you know, when the color changes to red at low health. Um, and his character is Xander. As for his dinosaurs, well, um, up first, we have the Centurus. Or Dacentrurus. I never really got the hang of how to properly say it. I'm just going to say Dacentrurus. Because that's what I'm used to. And, um, to quote Lad, my team is kind of unoriginal, lol. Yeah, um, he has Dacenturus and Stegosaurus. Which, eh, Dacenturus, based. Stegosaurus is also based, but then however, you also gotta understand, there are a lot of Stegosauruses in this fucking tournament. You're gonna see Stegosaurus a lot. Um, anyways, um, his Dacenturus is just named Dacenturus. Yeah, he didn't name his dinosaurs. And... Stasaturus is Tide type with the moveset of Sand Trap, Attack Boost, and Wall Smash. Decent, decent. And his Stegosaurus is Attack type, again, specifically Attack type Stegosaurus, you'll see quite a fair bit. Um, Tail Smash, Archaeopteryx Charm, and Giga Rock Hammer. Alright, alright, best of luck to ya. Second combatant. We have Dexon Winters, formerly known as Dan Soros. Yeah, um, I just wanted to point out that this is Dan Soros from last year's toy tournament. He's undergone a name change, so if you're wondering who this is, yeah, this isn't new. I just thought I'd put that out there, returning combatant. Anyways, welcome back, and um, Dexon wants to swap when his health, when his dinosaur's health hits the yellow zone, and he's going to be using the character Goma. As for his team, he has an Alpha Ketrosaurus by the name of Rocky, and Rocky is going to be Poison type, running the moveset of Spike Arrows, Earthquake, and Alpha Dart. Next up is his Super Tarkia by the name of Shatter, which is um, Super type. Duh, what the fuck else is Super supposed to mean? Um, anyways, Dex wants me to awaken Shatter after the opportunity shows up twice so first so um yeah first time and then second time i hit uh, that um, awaken thing shows up i hit the fucking buttons okay shatter is going to be running the move set of quake saber archaeopteryx charm and mole attack okay okay up third is a new combatant at least for me anyways echo fury Echo Fury wants to swap when his health's in the red, and his character card is going to be Rex. Interesting. So, if we see someone who doesn't pick a character and Echo's on the left, we're going to see Rex versus Rex. That's going to be an interesting matchup. Also, I'd like to point out that Echo chose fucking Dinotector Spinosaurus, knowing full well this is a nerf tournament. Nothing wrong with that, it's just fucking funny. Okay, anyways, Echo's team is going to be um, Stegosaurus, and his Stegosaurus' name is going to be Pinpoint. Google um, Google Docs rec recognizes this as a grammar mistake, but um, hey, Echo named this dinosaur. Deal with it, Google Chrome. Um, Stegosaurus, attack type. Because why wouldn't it be? Uh, running the running all the boost sets 
yeah, a full, all the boost moves. So defense, attack, and technique boost. We'll see if that, we'll see how well that pays out, pays off. Okay, and then he's one of the only people using an armored dinosaur. Surprisingly, not a lot. But yeah, um, he went with armored Psychania and named it Quake. Quake is Scissor Scissors type, and we'll be running Quake Saber, Earthquake, and Exciting Strawberry Cake. Quake Saber, Earthquake, Strawberry Quake. Okay, that last one is pushing it, but I, I see you really lean into the Quake thing. Alright, our fourth combatant is gonna be Dino Smash who wants to use Max as his character, and swap at never. So he's never gonna swap. He's just gonna let his dinosaurs die. Okay! Or, you know, um, sweep. You never know. Dino Smash is gonna be running Stegosaurus and Dacenturus, just like Lad. <laughs> Except it's Philip. They're even the same fucking type! <laughs> okay, I, sh I should... I'm not judging, I'm not judging, I just find it funny. Great minds think alike, I guess. Alright, so, also, not naming his dinosaurs, so Stegosaurus and Dacenturus. Stegosaurus will be an attack type, and we'll be running Tail Smash, Attack Boost, and Struthio Rush. Okay, Tail Smash is consistent, but the Paper and Scissors are different. Okay, okay. Um, next is Dacenturus, who is also a tie type. Um, running Sand Trap, Earthquake, and Elemental Power. Okay. Alright, I, I want to... I hope I see these two fight. This will be a this will be a funny matchup. Okay, moving on. We got our fifth combatant, Aaron Plays 34. Who I'm just gonna be calling Aaron Plays. Um, he wants to swap when his health's in the red, and he's gonna be running the character Xander. And as for his team, he's gonna be using a Stegosaurus and Warhosaurus by the name of No Name. Both of them. Yeah, I, 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 I can't wait to commentate for his match, cause, um, or matches, cause, to call them No Name, that's gonna be fucking funny. Um, No Name the Stegosaurus is revival type, and it's gonna be sporting the moveset of Spike Arrows, Rock Roller, and Elemental Power. As for his No Name, the Warhosaurus, um, No Name is Crisis type, running the moveset of Dido Stuffer, Earthquake, and Light Recovery. Alright, next up is Dino Fans. Something interesting about this guy is that apparently in every tournament he's partaken in so far, whoever beat him goes on to win the whole thing. Wait. Wait, I just realized that applies to my fucking toy tournament too! Arya beat him last year, and now Edishi won the whole thing. <laughs> that is fucking hilarious. Okay, okay, okay. Off track. So yeah, um, we'll see if whoever beats him in this tournament goes through and wins the whole thing. But, um, at the same time, wish him luck. Because, you know, he's not just there to help other people win. He's here to win himself. Um, anyways, Dino Spans, he wants to switch when his dinosaur's health is below half. And he wants to run the character Fool's Cap. Okay. As for his dinosaurs, well, he has an Ankylosaurus by the name of Macy, which is counter type. And Macy will be running the moveset of Stomping Hammer, Tapijara Dive, and Giga Rock Hammer. As for his second dinosaur, it's Tujangosaurus, which is just called tu Tujangosaurus. Um, running the moves. But, but, fuck. He's willpower type, and we'll be running the moveset of Sand Trap, Archaeopteryx Charm, and Banana Surprise. Alright, moving on. We have um, our seventh combatant, Homo Erectus, who wants to swap when their health is in the yellow, and we'll be using the character Ursula. So, Homo Erectus will be using Super Sora Pelta. By the name of Sale, super type, duh. And they want me to awaken it pretty much as soon as I, as soon as the fucking bar comes up. So yeah, right away. Interesting. Um, 
the moveset will be Dino Stuffer, Attack Boost, and Wall Smash. Next is their Psychania by the name of Judas, and let's hope Judas doesn't betray him, betray them like he did to Jesus. Um, Judas will be Counter Type, and we'll be running the moveset of Final Fury, Neck Crusher, and Quick Strike. All right. Up next, Stranger Gamer. The first time in my tournament, um, Stranger wants to swap when his his health is in the red, and he wants to use the character Ed. As for his dinosaurs, Stranger would be Stranger will be using a Gastonia and a Pinacosaurus, both of which don't have names. So his Gastonia will be using um, what? Is attack type and will be using Sand Trap, Attack Boost, and Technique Boost. As for Spinocosaurus, it's Revival type and will be using Tupu, yeah, Tupu Quara Dive, Archaeopteryx Charm, and Crystal Crusher. Alright, we're halfway there! Also, by the way, Stranger's Tournament is still going on, so if you want to go watch that, um, feel free to tune into all his, all of the matches in his tournament as well. But just don't, just don't skip out on mine. Anyways, our ninth contestant is Hetty, who wants to swap when his health is in the yellow. No character. Axel, come to think of it, I think he's the only one who doesn't have any characters to use. Who decided to not use a character card. Alright. Now, his two dinosaurs are Tujangosaurus and Sycania. Tujangosaurus' name is Dagger and is lethal type, the first lethal type Tujang. Surprisingly, I thought more people would want to use this one. And Le Le Dagger, I almost called it Lethal, Dagger will be sporting the moveset of Sand Trap, Rock Roller, and Mole Attack. Now his Sycania's name is Mallet, and his counter type. Mallet will be running the moveset of Sand Trap, Rock Roller, and Mole Attack. Wait, is this the same fucking set? I just remembered that. <laughs> Fuck! Alright, alright, that's actually funny. Let's see how the... Let's see how that pays off. Um, next up is our resident furry, I mean, fox lover. Uh, Blood Moon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Alright, Blood Moon will be using the character Rod, and he wants to swap when his health's at yellow. Alright, and um, he will be using his Lexovasaurus uh, by the name of Grimlock, which is lethal type, again. Not a lot of Lexos in this tournament, surprisingly. Um, he'll be using the moveset of Quake Saber, Rock Roller, and Giga Rock Hammer. Um, yeah, pretty standard for Grimlock. And then his second dinosaur, he went with Tank. Yeah, he stole Tank from the Alpha Gang. <laughs> Let's see how that pays off. Um, Tank will be Scissor Scissors type. Running Spike Arrows, Rock Roller, and Mole Attack. Um, Alright, so the next combatant. Finally, we're at myself. Um, I am the 11th entry, and I want to swap when my health is below half. And we'll be using the character Sheer. Alright, alright. Now, I don't know how Blood Moon stole Tank, because I also stole Tank. I don't know how um, this dinosaur exists. Um, simultane- in- I don't know how two of the dinosaurs exist simultaneously, but um, here we are! Uh, alright, so my tank will be super defense type, and will be using defense burst, earthquake, and technique boost. Usually, I will be- uh, I would run this set with earth barrier, but um, I banned earth barrier, so getting out of my comfort zone a little bit here. As for my second dinosaur, um, it's the first time. It's the first time I'm using it. I decided to give London a little bit of a break since I used him a lot, and I went with a Gigant Spinosaurus, which I named Garnet. Garnet is lethal type, and she is gonna be running the move set of Dino Stuffer, Rock Roller, and Giga Rock Hammer. I just realized now both my dinosaurs are female. Alright, so... My headphones decided to ha die halfway, um... THANKS, ASSHOLE! I actually have to fucking edit this now! 
Fuck! Alright, I, I... Yeah, point is, I've been... I, I think I'm done talking about myself anyways, so... Um, moving on. Um, last few contestants, let's get it. Um, our 12th contestant is gonna be Mastrishin. Mastrishin's gonna switch when their health is in the yellow, and... They want to use the character Space Pirate Seth. Alright, simple enough. Um, as for their team, they're going to be using an Earth Dinosaur Egg. So, yeah, his their dinosaur is going to be randomized. Which is interesting. We'll see how that plays out. But, um, as for their team, they're going to be using uh, TIE Attack. Uh, wait, move set. I mean. TIE ATTACK, ROCK ROLLER, AND CRYSTAL CRUSHER. Yeah. Then their second dinosaur is going to be Panoplosaurus, just simply named Panoplosaurus. And Panoplosaurus is lethal type because, if I'm not mistaken, that is the only option for Panoplosaurus. Um, Panoplosaurus will be running Dino Stuffer, Tapijara Dive, and Giga Rock Hammer. Okay. We'll see how that... We'll see how that goes. I find it interesting how they didn't use mole attack or any attacking move. Instead, Giga Rock Hammer for the crit. But, I'm interested to see how this plays out. Alright, next up um, is Madam Shy Guy, my fellow Makama enthusiast. Yeah. Um, Alright, so Makama Simp wants to swap when his health is in the yellow and wants to use the character Ursula. Again, respect for Makama. Anyways, uh, they'll be using Panakosaurus, which is just named Panakosaurus, and Panakosaurus is recovery type, and we'll be running the moveset of Power Drain, Exciting Spaghetti, and Naughty Curry and Rice. Yeah, just like all the naughty things I want to do to Makaba. Hey! Okay, um, <laughs> moving on. Um, the second dinosaur is going to be Armored Armatus. Um, by the name of, well, Armatus, duh. Armatus will be poison type, running the moveset of Defense Boost, Tie Bomb, and Giga Rock Hammer. Alright, I'm excited to see how this one plays out as well. Last three, here we go. Okay, so our 14th combatant will be Asta. Asta would like to swap when his health's at the yellow, and will be using the character Spike Taylor. Um, his first dinosaur is going to be a two Jungosaurus by the name of Amber, and Amber is lethal type, running the moveset of Dino Stuffer, Rock Roller, and Elemental Power. And next is Lexovasaurus by the name of Agro, and it's lethal type, so two lethal type dinosaurs. Excited to see how this one goes. Um, Agro will be using the moveset of Spike, Arrows, Attack Boost, and Elemental Power. Amazing. Alright. Our 15th, our 15th combatant, um, Necros Bloodclaw. Necros Bloodclaw will be use, using the character card Xander and wants to swap when his health is below half. Alright. His first answer is going to be Sorapelta by the name of Tremor, and Tremor is Tie type Tremor will be running the boost set of Crinkle Block, Tie Bomb, and Tie Breaker. Alright. Interesting moveset. Definitely leading into the tie into the tie theme, but I reckon it'll pay off. His opponent, not his not his fucking opponent, my Ah, what's wrong with me? Uh his second dinosaur! Fuck yeah, let's make those dinosaurs fight each other. Why the fuck not? Uh his second dinosaur is Jord the Tujangosaurus. Um, named after a Norse god, I think he said? Um, I'll check while I talk over the other stuff. Um, Jord is lethal type, and will be running the moveset of Dino Stuffer, Rock Roller, and Venom Fang. And, yeah, no, Norse god, yeah. Jord is named after a Norse god. Okay, glad we got that cleared up. Anyways, um, our final combatant, who stole the last spot. Mulberry, who wants to swap at Never, just like Dino Smash. Alright, and um, Mulberry will be using the character Laura, and 
Her two dinosaurs are Panoplosaurus and Gigant Spinosaurus. Okay, so um, Panoplosaurus is lethal type. Actually, they're both lethal type. And Panoplosaurus will be using Power Drain, Alpha Dice, and Giga Rock Hammer. As for Gigant Spinosaurus, it will be sporting the moveset of Defense Boost, Neck Crusher, and Banana Surprise. All right, and there you have it. These are the combatants that are going to be taking on each other in the Earthly Escapade Tournament. In the next video, I will be drawing the matchups and seeing who is going to be facing off against each other and who is going to be kicking whose fucking ass. Oh, and I'd like to ask, is there someone in this tournament who you absolutely look forward to and or dread facing? For me, I'm just going to go out and say it, I am not going to lose to Ultimate Dino King. I just will not. Probably because it's not here. But as for the rest of you, I have absolute faith in the two dinosaurs I picked, which I have never really used before in a tournament setting, and I am confident that I will make it through at least the matchup pickings. Alright, with that said, I hope you all stick around for that, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I hope you all look forward to this tournament. And yeah, this is Cryonova, and at least one of us isn't getting fucked over in this tournament. Goodbye.